So this is a common question that I usually get. How to import an EA into FX Dreamer? How do you import your existing Forex robot into FX Dreamer? Hi guys, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing so that you do not miss future videos. Uh, like this video, that's the only thing you ever do uh, to make me happy and to help me to continue uh, sharing all the knowledge that I have, the experience that I have when it comes to creating forex robots and custom indicators. And if you are looking to download stuff, forex robots, indicators, books, uh, the things that you need in your trading, uh, there are links in the description box below. Visit those links and see if you cannot find what you are looking for. So let's get into the video. So the website that I use, one of the websites that I use, one of the EA builders that I use uh, without the headache of actually going around to study uh, coding uh, for MT5 and MT4 is actually FX Dreamer, and I think I've posted some uh, a few videos concerning uh, using this uh, website on the channel. So just go through the channel and see if you can find those tutorials. Basically, what FX Dreamer is is it's a custom EA builder. They call them EA builders, where you can without knowing how to code with you don't need to know how to code in order to create your own uh, robot on this ea builder what it uh, what you just need is you just need a strategy that's uh, working for you whether it's moving average crosses whether it's fibonacci whatever strategy that you are using and you know that it's making you a lot of money and you want to obviously automate that strategy. That's where you come to an EA builder like uh, Forex Dreamer. Uh, because, for example, not many of us are able to go back and spend six months a year learning to code robots. So these things do come in handy. And the good thing about FX Dreamer is it has been around for more than 10 years. And... If you're going to be coding uh, in MQ4, uh, MetaTrader 4 robots, if you're going to be trading, uh, coding MetaTrader 4 robots, it's for free. But if you go to MT5 and trying to code, uh, to convert uh, maybe a robot from MT4 to MT5, then you certainly need uh, to pay. But anyway... Uh, going back to the story, so how do you actually import? Uh, how do you actually import EAs or forex robots into uh, FX uh, Dreamer for whatever purpose that you want to use them for, uh, whether to uh, uh, to modify them or to add uh, restrictions to them and stuff like that. What you would want to do is to first of all create a free account on FX Dreamer. You cannot do it. You cannot import anything or save anything on FX Dreamer without a free account. Just create a free account. It actually helps you to do a whole lot of other things that you cannot do by just, of course, without creating a for uh, an account on FX Dreamer, you can actually uh, create your robots, but just go ahead and create uh, the account, it's for free. So when you create the account, you see this bar, you see this bar, you cannot see this bar if you do not have an account on FX Dreamer. So when you actually create a free account and you log in, that's where you can actually see this bar. If you are using the uh, a free version without the account, you can only see from here and the rest of these uh, uh, things. So first of all, what you just need to do is to create a free account. Then when you are in the free account, when you come here to projects, you can see that if we go to projects, you can load an existing project, you can start a new project, or you can import a project you can import a project in it can be in xml uh, or file format 
MQ4 file format for MetaTrader 4 or it can be in MQ5 uh, for MetaTrader 5. Now, there is a challenge with uh, this. Uh, for example, uh, what I've discovered is they've also tried to protect themselves somehow uh, from people just uh, uh, using uh, this platform to try and decompile uh, people's forex robots and thereby violating copyright and stuff like that. So uh, the challenge with this is actually that, for example, if we try to import a project, let's say this uh, uh, this file, see it says no record found. It says no record found. If we try another file, no record found. These are MQ5 uh, uh, files that are just downloaded from uh, the internet. You may ask why are they not loading? Basically, uh, for now, I don't know if it's going to change in the future. For now, you can only import EAs and indicators. Uh, you can import custom indicators. Uh, but uh, for now, the EAs, uh, I've not tested the custom indicators because I'm most uh, focused on, uh, on uh, EAs. So for now, the EAs, you cannot import them uh, if they are not built by FX Dreamer. What happens is when you build something with FX Streamer, it actually places a, a piece of code on that file that helps you to import it back into FX Streamer to modify it and do something else. So that that's why it's saying that if you see no record uh, found, it's looking for that record in the file that it was actually created by FX Dreamer. So that's the drawback. But if you have created things in FX Dreamer and you you have created a robot you're in FX Dreamer and it's working, but there are some tweaks that you need to do to it and you certainly uh, don't want to start afresh, you can simply come to project, import project, you go to your files and you look for the particular uh, thing that you want to import and you import it and certainly uh, then you can do whatever you want and you can then export it so that's it about uh importing eas in fx streamer i think the the challenge with uh, why they did it like that is so that uh they are also not sued where people just go around uh stealing other people's work and coming into fx streamer and trying to uh, convert other people's uh, work uh, the uh, kind of uh, just stealing other people's work and uh, probably uh, changing the details and passing it on as their own. So you can still import uh, projects. Uh, you can still import EAs into FX Streamer, but it needs to be projects or EAs that were created by uh, FX Dreamer. Like this video, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Until next time, I'm going to continue making uh, similar videos on how to use FX Streamer. Until next time, bye.